What's up everybody, Morta Gear. So, a lot of people is complaining because leveling right now takes a lot of time. And during my testing on the PTR and playing right now on the live server, I made a path for myself for both Alliance and Horde and I want to share it with you guys. So, for the first level, so from level 1 to 20, my suggestion is to just play on your starting zone. So, Dumbarog, Elwyn Forest, Durotar, Mulgore, all these zones. Because the, this, the cool thing is that those zones are being designed about people that do not have a mount yet. So, if you, you are also using the heirloom mount, you will go really fast from your quest up to the quest object. And my suggestion for Alliance is, you, if, it is if you can, just stick up on Dumbarog and Elwood Forest. I do not suggest you if you are a Draenei, a Worgen or a Night Elf to play on Blood Mist Island, Dark Shore or move to the other to the other starting zone. Because you they have a bit more to travel and they have less fly path less fly path flight path sorry compared to the other two zones after you hit level 20 my suggestion for alliance is to go straight stay forward to lock moda the reason why is it have two ins and the zones is also very simple so you can use very well your air zone to travel faster from from point from a, from another point on the same suggestion, I strongly recommend the Red Ridge, Red Ridge Mountains, the Strangleton, Westlands, and the Rati for Alliance. I do not. Su I suggest you to avoid for both faction Ashenvale, Velwood, and Winter Spring, because Ashenvale is a very big zone and you have to travel a lot, even with 100% speed mount. Felwood is a bit smaller, but the layout is still terrible for very low quest. Winter Spring is slightly better, but you have to travel through Ashenvale and Felwood, and then also through Timberman Hall to reach it. If you are a druid, you don't have this problem, you can easily teleport to Moonglade. Other zones that I do not, then I do not suggest you, they are pretty much known. Just keep in mind that stick up in the zones that were usually from level 20 to 30 if you do not still have a level 100% uh, speed mount. After you reach level 40 they are pretty much the same so you don't have a problem at, at all. For the order, the best zones, the best route is to after you finish to level in Mulgore or on Durotar, my suggestion is then, is then to move to this to this far glades. So if you are on undead, just do the opposite. But at that point, after you reach level 20, go back to to Easter Kingdom and start to level in Silver Pine. He has the same layout of of Lokomadan with even one more flight path. So it's really good. After that point, Ilsbrand is another great zone to level up in. And at that point, you you can just move up to Strangletorn, I as a suggestion. Stone Tallow Mountains is another great zone for both the faction. And just keep in mind the my way of reasoning that I tell you earlier. After you reach a level 60, my suggestion is to move the Northern. Not also because the quests are better designed compared to to the Outlands. But also because of I have found that, that you can do more quests and the problem with the with the elements is they still have some long quest chains, for example in a grant when you have to travel through Nether Storm, Shadow of Moon and so on. So my suggestion of path is to start from Borean Chandra, go to Dragonblight, Oblin Fjord, Grizzly Ears and Zuldrak. And if you have if you are one like me that hates Zuldrak just went to Sholazar Basin. It is another good zone 
it do not have much quest as Zuldrak, but you can also start do some quests that point in Iskra. Avoid storm peaks. Uh, I do not suggest you to do because there is a lot of flying to do because those two zones were designed with with having flying and having a good the flying speed. If you still lack some level, just w move forward. Alpha Peninsula is the best uh, zone to level up with, with uh, Zangan March in the second. And after you reach level 80, my first zone to suggest you is to move to Mount Aijal, or if you do not have any problem with uh, water, head over to Bashir. After completing Aijal, move to Deepholm and then Twilight Islands. If you still need some level, go to the Jade Forest, and at, this, and at that point, you should be level 90 so you can you, you can start working on Dreno and at this point it's just a normal path I but I recommend you probably to don't to, to not do Spice of Iraq but because I don't like it the zone at all I don't like the other course so I, sorry I always find that that zone lame compared to Talador and Gorgron so this pretty much it for today I hope you th this uh, my guide uh, will be useful to you and I hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.